Hey, what's up? We're back with Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. This is episode 11. I'm pretty sure there are only 12 episodes of this season, so this is the penultimate episode um, of the show. I'm looking forward to getting into it. I don't know what I don't I don't know what we're watching today. I don't know what what to expect from this episode. They might have teased it at the end of last episode. I I I honestly can't remember. So we're just gonna jump into it. I'll catch up as the episode's going on. I'll realize where we are. Um, but uh, yeah, make sure to support the video. Oh, I did remember. It was the the parent. We met the the um his mother. Like it was like the parent day or whatever. I remember now. Anyway, um, let's jump into the episode. Make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, subscribing, and go to my Patreon account for the full-length reactions, as well as you can get a lot of extra bonus content for both this channel and my Gent Watches One Piece channel. But let's jump into this. This is episode 11 of Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian. Okay. So far, good. Damn. That's fucking impressive. Look how young he is. What, no reaction there? Oh god. He's always chasing that smile that she gave him originally. Oh my gosh. I mean, I think she has trauma elsewhere that she is now taking out on you. Okay. I'm liking looking into this character work. An unexpected curtain raiser. Oh. I like your outfit. Aww. Nice. She wants to, though. That's honestly nice of Yuki to do that. <laughs> I know she's doing it for the, like, rom-com trope. <laughs> okay. Four hours? <laughs> That's blasphemy. <laughs> she can't help but talk to herself out loud, can she? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Only if you feed me. Um, oh, she's not feeding him. <laughs> uh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's like it's so sweet that she's gonna be nearby. That warms my heart. I'd be very comforted. Someone doing that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they were just staring at each other. <laughs> I might get cancelled. Mm. Well, I mean, she's a family maid, but... Yeah. Her hand is at nipple height. No, it isn't. <laughs> Bye. Really? She ended up doing that? Can't be bothered. Uh, <laughs> 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 the delivery on that line is very funny. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty innocuous. Let her sing you a lullaby. She wants to do something. <laughs> She's back. More medicine. They're showing the medicine that he's taken so much. What? Because this is the third time they've shown the medicine. Uh oh. Uh-huh. 
体質的に泡に薬を出しするなど許されてる。俺じゃ、これ what? What did Yuki do? Mm. She already had the address written down. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is... This is shady, Yuki. <laughs> We're being nice. You're taking it as an insult because we're not trying our hardest. Mm, I see that. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Damn. So she, like, Yuki sort of sabotaged the line between them. She's a master manipulator. Played on her ego. Okay. Alia's being so sweet to her. Too great, it sounded like. That's so sad. Okay, so you drop a sad story like that right before... Right before it to rattle her? Her expressions are drawn really well. Oh my gosh. Make her realize that her reasonings are much weaker than yours are. Oh, she was really rattled. Oh, damn. Damn. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> So don't let her get in your head. Have some pride, baby. <laughs> oh, that's a similar smile to hers. Oh, shit. It's really similar. They're both devious. Wow, he really does look evil right now. <laughs> and she likes the villainous him. <laughs> He's just great. <laughs> He's a great character. <laughs> this show doesn't do jokes like that very often, like the changing of animation styles. <laughs> <笑>ありゃ。じゃあ。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆうきさん。ゆう
Let's blow past him. <laughs> That's true. Wow, fun! Do I know this song? I think I do. Yes, I do. Is this called Love Something? My head says Love Hotel, but I don't think that's the name of it. Was it something romance? Was that what it was? Okay, I found it. The song was called um, Kimaguru, Kimagure Romantic, um, which is a uh, a song which was apparently used as an ending song for Takagi san, um, which I haven't seen. And um, but other than that, it's in it's in Bang Dream, which is why I know the song because I've heard the cover in Bang Dream quite a lot, which is a Pastel Palettes cover, and it's a fucking incredible, gorgeous, amazing cover. I really, I really love it. Um, and that is also, um, that's also really cool because um, I'm pretty sure Alia is voiced by um, Sumiri Uesaka, right? It doesn't say that on this page somewhere. Um, because I'm pretty sure she is. So, um, Alia, I'm just going to search Alia and and get this answer so that I'm not embarrassing myself. Um, yeah, Sumeri Uesaka voices her. Um, and she's in Pastel Palettes. She's one of the, the members of Pastel Palettes. So, it's interesting. Like, she's already done a cover of this song in Bang Dream, and now she's doing another cover of the song in, um, in this show. It reminds me of... When um, Aimi from Poppin' Party in Bang Dream did a cover of... I forgot what the song was, but she did a cover of a song. And then she also voiced a character in Remake Your Life. Is that what the show was called? The university show. Uh, there was a show that, set, that was set in a university. And she was in it. And her character did played that song on stage and sung that song on stage. So she did another cover of it in that show um and i just i i like that i like seeing bang dream actors in other series because i um i'm a i'm a big bang dream fan and uh and also seeing them do songs that they've already done in bang dream and other stuff always makes me happy um i liked this episode quite a lot i really i really enjoyed what this was setting up this actually sets up for a good finale. I think like if they're setting up for the finale that I think they're setting up for, this is a really good setup for one. This might have been one of my favorite episodes of the show just in terms of um just in terms of writing, I guess. Like it, it was just, it just felt well written to me. The like we start with the whole like pretty basic rom-com stuff of like the the um you know, the romantic uh, prospect comes over and, and takes care of them while they're sick. That's like such a rom rom com anime rom com staple. It, it happens in everyone. It always happens. But to on top of that, have another plot line going on that they were like hinting at by constantly showing the medicine. Of actually, this medicine was supposed to make him drowny, and that's specifically to continuously like subdue him essentially to make it make sure that he can't come in and save the day um and if he can't come in and save the day then um then alia is gonna you know fall for all of yuki's tricks because masachika would have been able to see through yuki's tricks and keep alia on on the right path because he's like first of all he knows yuki well like he knows the bullshit that she pulls but secondly he also is very good at keeping her focused. Like, it seems like Alia is a very prideful person. She's also, like, that pride gives her this sense of responsibility that causes her to start to spiral into self-deprecation. And once she starts doing that, she loses focus. Masachka is really good at pulling her out of that spiral. As we saw in this episode. I mean, she started to spiral and he didn't let her. So, if he's not around, she will, like, Yuki can manipulate her to self-destruct. But if Masachika's around, he can balance her out and then bring out the, the best qualities of, um, 
uh, of Alia. That's how we're going to win this, you know, with with Misachka's being able to... Like, Misachka is basically like a, a buffer and a debuffer, if we're talking, you know, video game terms. He can give buffs and debuffs to Alia, and Alia is the DPS. But, you know, if, if no one else is around, if she doesn't have her healer, then all of the damage is going to be taken on Alia, she's going to die pretty quick. But if he can be there to constantly, like, buff her and debuff her, get rid of the spiraling, add some more attack power, she will be a force to be reckoned with. So, I like... I like how they set this up in this episode. I think it was cleverly done. I think this show has... The more the season has gone on, the show has surprised me more. The show has been like unexpectedly solid i like i still wouldn't put this on like a my favorite shows or anything but i do hope that in the future when i'm thinking back to this show because like recently ish i did a um i did a video where i was ranking every show that i was doing um or that i'd ever reacted to on the channel and i ranked them all like you know the top like all the way down to the bottom um and, you know, the disadvantage of when I'm doing something like that is I will sometimes um, look at a show that I watched a long time ago and I won't really remember how good it was. Like, unless there's something particularly that's sticking in my mind, I have a good chance at forgetting, like, some of the, like, moments that impressed me while I was watching it. Um... And it's like it, it's a it's a genuine problem that I have, and that I'm sure a lot of people have. You forget about stuff as time goes on. That's why recency bias is such a a big thing, because when you're not in the show, when you're not watching it at the time, you will uh, you will forget it. Um, so because of that, um, I wonder how I'm going to look back at the show, you know, in a few seasons time, in like half a year time. After I have forgotten about this, after I'm like no longer watching this, and you know, I, there's probably not going to be a season two out soon or anything. So, once I've sort of forgotten every, the th main parts about the show, am I going to remember that I actually was getting to be quite impressed by the show uh, b towards the end of it? I just think it is, it could be a very simple rom com, and, it, and in some ways it is. But in other ways, the actual political aspect of this show is its strength. That and the character work is... Uh, it doesn't come second to the plot. The character work is well thought out, I would say. And the, the narrative and the, the problems seem legit. They, I, I really believe them. I really understand them and I'm really on board with them. So... I, I enjoyed that. I, I'm I'm liking this. I, I'm looking forward to the next episode to see how we finish off the season. But I feel like they've set it up really well that I'm pretty confident this is going to end as a solid season of anime. Um, one that deserves more consideration than I would have originally given it. Um, but yeah. I don't think there's much else I want to talk about. Because, oh, actually, I'll go over a couple more things. The first thing is that Misachka... Um, Masachika's mother, that whole story is, is very sad and very frustrating to watch, you know, like him just trying to, and sorry that I keep adjusting my headband, it's just like starting to, starting to wear on me. Um, it's very frustrating to watch that because Masachika is clearly such a hard worker and he was craving, he was chasing that that idea of the mother's approval like he came home once and he said like oh look at it well, well i'm doing on my test and she turns around and goes like i'm so proud of you you did a great job and he gets so happy about that that he continuously looks for that sort of approval again but the approval from that point just goes down more and more until it's non-existent um which is very depressing very very sad um so i like yeah it's it's not it's not fun to watch, but it is fun to watch because it's good character work. It's interesting to watch. Um, and then you can see how that also influences Yuki. I know Yuki, like, 
dropped that sob story on Alia to throw her off her game. But I think the sob story is also her, her truth. I think when she says, I'm, you know, I'm the person who has to live up to what my brother couldn't be. And so the pressure of this now falls to me. When she says that shit, like, I think she's being real. She's, that's genuinely her motivations and she does feel that pressure. But she's also one to use that, that story, even, even if it's true, she's going to use it to her advantage as best she can. Um... I also like that Yuki was offended by the fact that they're spreading rumors or that they're letting rumors be spread that hurt their own case because it seems like Yuki was actually a little bit peeved off about that. I mean, obviously, once again, she was using that situation to make herself the antagonist of that situation so that the next day she could do a complete flip and throw Alia off a game. I know that that's what she was doing, but at the same time, I think, like, the best lives, lies, they have some truth to them, right? Um, <coughs> I think she did have, there was truth to the idea that she was annoyed that they weren't trying their hardest against her because she is trying to earn this position. She doesn't want them to throw it away. And also... At the same time, she um, finds it insulting that they could, like, that they think they can sabotage their own cause a little bit while also still beating her. She sees that as a bit of an insult. Like, you, what, you think, like, you could have used that information and you screwed up this girl's reputation. You could have used that information to your advantage to get yourself more votes and to, to win this against me. And yet you didn't because you have the moral high ground or whatever. But that is arrogant as hell. Because that just means you're confident you're going to be able to win without that. Um, so I can see how she would be offended by that. And I like the way it was written. I do like Yuki's character. I think, like, especially when she's not being just weird with her brother. She's especially interesting. I think she's a good antagonist for this show. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's Alia Sun. Sometimes had her feelings in Russian episode 11. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to support the video if you can. And go to my Patreon account if you want to support me and get lots of extra bonus content, the full length reactions, lots of other stuff. Go check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.